The common iliac veins unite to form the inferior vena cava, or IVC. It typically ascends to the right of the abdominal aorta. The IVC leaves the abdomen through the caval opening in the diaphragm. Fasting before the exam is recommended whenever possible. This will aid in decreasing the amount of bowel gas shadows, which can drastically decrease the quality of images. Views should be obtained with the patient in the supine position. Place a sheet to cover the patient below the level of the pubic symphysis. The ideal transducer for assessing structures within the abdomen is a curvilinear array probe with a frequency range of 2 to 5 megahertz. Select the abdomen preset on the ultrasound device. To obtain a transverse view of the IVC, place the probe on the midline, halfway between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus. The probe marker should be pointing toward the patient's right side. Adjust the gain and depth to obtain the best possible image. In this transverse view at the level of the mid-abdomen, both the IVC and abdominal aorta are seen just anterior to the vertebral body. There are several features that will help to distinguish the abdominal aorta from the inferior vena cava. The aorta tends to be located to the left of the patient's midline, whereas the IVC is located to the right. The aorta appears circular in cross-section, while the IVC may appear elliptical or teardrop-shaped. The aorta is pulsatile, while the IVC is not as pulsatile. The aorta is not compressible under gentle pressure, but the IVC is. The abdominal aorta shows no change in size with respiration or sniffing, whereas the normal IVC shows up to 50% or more change in diameter with respiration or sniffing. Once the transverse view has been obtained, center the probe over the IVC and rotate it 90 degrees clockwise to obtain a longitudinal view of the IVC. The goal is to align the ultrasound beam parallel to the long axis of the IVC. Adjust the gain and depth to obtain the best possible image. Obtain a long axis view of the IVC at the proximal level just below the xiphoid process. In this area, the hepatic vein will be seen draining into the IVC. Activate Color Flow Doppler and move the color box to the region of the IVC. Flow in the IVC is represented with a blue color. The hepatic veins are also seen in blue since the blood in the hepatic veins is flowing from the hepatic veins into the IVC. Ultrasound can be used as a non-invasive method of monitoring central venous pressure, or CVP, in some patients. CVP can be calculated by measuring the IVC diameter during inspiration and during expiration. Activate M mode and position the M mode cursor within one centimeter distal to the junction of the hepatic vein and the IVC as shown. This region of the IVC is the most responsive to the changes in pressure that result from respiration or sniffing. The M-mode tracing shows the variability of the IVC diameter with respiration over time. Measure the maximal IVC diameter and minimal IVC diameter represented on the M-mode tracing. Here we see normal variability of the IVC with respiration. It may be necessary to ask the patient to sniff to record the minimal IVC diameter. Once the measurements have been obtained, the IVC collapsibility index can be determined. This table indicates the approximate CVP based upon the IVC collapsibility index.